welcome to Jurassic Park. So, one negative is I'm 90% sure that I forgot my sunglasses today. So, uh, that'll be fun. fish right off this point, right off this island. There's a steep drop off and I'm going with the jig. A lot of fish right off this island. And about 14 feet of water. point out here. Super, super rocky. right there baby right off this rock that I that I uh, grabbed there he comes little guy he ate the jig he's fat look at, look at how fat look at how fat that little guy is little guy on the Andy's custom E-series finesse jig all right, first one down. Figuring them out one bite at a time. He came out of probably 14 feet of water. Maybe, just maybe, they want something more like a shaky head. one. I think I was right about the shaky head. Super little guy, but first cast of the shaky head, he hammered it. His wind is just relentless. It's not a hard wind, it's just very constant. And like, just trying to control the trolling motor and like sit still and watch my line. Like, it's just a pain in the butt right now. If I really want to pick apart this spot, I gotta, uh, I gotta throw the shaky head. Not the shaky head, the drop shot. Silly. That's a fish. Tiny, but it's a fish. 
super tiny. This place is loaded with a lot of small fish, but it's fun because, you know, you can catch them good. They're just small. There's a bunch of like one and two pounders in here. It appears I'm finding all of the runts of the pack, but that's okay. Okay, last cast and then changing spots. Tasty looking jig. Look at that bad boy. I'll throw that. Alright. I've got some waypoints marked from the last time I was here. I'm just on some uh, deep grass and rock patches. So, um, bunch of fish, bunch of bait fish here last time I was out here. So, I'm just going to try this spot. Caught a few small ones, pound, pound and a half. Ooh. All right. That's a good sign, though. No? Got rocked on the first cast by this guy. I think this is a JT Nichols grass jig. And I got a baby D-bomb on there. Hammered it. First cast. Whenever I feel it get hung up in grass, I just get the line tight and then I pop it, give it a good pop. And it just shoots out of the grass and then falls back down. A lot of the time you'll get a strike right there. And, bonus, if it's a fish and not grass, um, you get a hook set. So, Happens to me a lot. I'll catch something on the first cast and then nothing. Like, it gets my hopes up. It's kind of misleading. Because it's like, oh man, I just got to the spot. I just threw this lure. First cast, bang, got a bass. Pretty misleading. Now I'm second guessing myself. Don't know what I'm doing. There's a fish. All right. He's a good size one. Probably the biggest they've caught all day. All right, I'm just drop shotting a uh, Zoom trick worm. This guy hit it. Man, this water's so clear. That's that's number five for the day, but it's only the second keeper. All the fish I've been catching today tend to be on the dinky side. Be a pickle. Holy crap. Jesus. That is a slab crappie. <laughs> Wish I could take this guy home. 
Wow. Man. That is funny. Hope he didn't have it too long. There's one little guy, literally the smallest fish ever, I think. Dude. What is it with the fish here, man? Like, look at this guy. This is how I, this is like five or six of them that I've caught today have been like that. What is up with that? I know that's inherent to the drop shot, like you're gonna catch small fish. You, I mean, you're not only gonna catch small fish, but you're definitely gonna catch some small fish. I just haven't come across any like decent, like I caught some all right fish today. Um, you know, I caught like two pound and a half, two pound fish. That's it though. Any of my other lakes, I would have, you know, been all over them. So I don't know if it's this lake or if it's me and I'm just not used to fishing this lake, which is why I want to keep fishing it and figure it out. Because I figured out grass. There's another fish. I figured out grass, you know? <laughs> Look at this. This is the smallest one of the day, I think. Like, so I figured out the grass lakes, right? I'm consistently catching decent fish there. I don't know what it is about this place, man. Um, I'm finding all of the fish that hatched this year, evidently. <laughs> That's what I'm catching. I mean, like I said, I caught two decent ones today, two pound and a half fish, and that's, that's it. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Like you guys saw, a bunch of dinks, right? I got two pound and a half fish, um, and that's about it. I'm still trying to figure this lake out, still trying to figure out fishing rock and, and deep structure. It's, uh, it's tough without spot lock, so hopefully by next season I'll have upgraded and have a boat that's a little more capable. I think next time you see me, I'm going to be fishing some grass again, because that's where I catch all the, the good ones, so. Um, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.